beat up an old lady. I got your back too. The most great communities over the years were all built upon coming together and beating up old ladies. Hey Bonerheads, welcome back to my horrible channel. Uploads have been a bit slow lately as I just haven't been able to get out and shoot that much since I'm watching an extra pug. I'm not complaining though. But the few times I have tried to go out and shoot street have been failures. And I'm always reminded that street photography is hard. As hard as you get while watching my videos. I might even consider it the hardest form of photography, at least that I've partaken in. I know I've said a bunch of times that I like to show my bad days too, but some days are so bad that I walk away unhappy and uninspired, and I think showcasing that would just pass that stress into your brains, ultimately causing a net negative and potentially causing an apocalyptic level event, ushering in a thousand years of darkness. Or you guys just won't like me anymore. But I finally had a more inspiring day when I went out with my good old 35mm lens and my buddy Ty. And I think that really highlights the dichotomy of street photography. It really depends on your mood and of course your luck. When those two things coalesce, you get a street boner. Don't forget to keep an eye open for the pug hidden somewhere in this video. Not this one. And not that one. Let's jump into it. We start here in the Lodo area of Denver, which I believe stands for Lower Doe, in this spot that always gets good light in the afternoon due to all the reflective surfaces, otherwise known as shiny surfaces, otherwise known as glass, otherwise known as windows. I waited for a few minutes and expertly missed focus on this bicycle man, but while he was soft, unlike you guys, the sun reflection fell in a perfect spot above his leg, which I think helps bring attention to the subject and the sun. As I walked further down the street, I noticed this thick haze, which I soon realized was meat scented. I've never seen this before, so I'm not sure if I was just always unlucky when walking by here before, or if Whole Foods just started smoking their kills or something, but it was a welcome surprise. It didn't last too long, but I think I got a couple neato shots, especially when using the sunlight to create some long shadows. I love this bridge around sunset because the light passes through these metal slats and it allows for some really cool long shadows, plus all the different colored windows create interesting light reflections and backgrounds, so I s decided to stick around here and wait for Ty. I really liked these. As I was waiting for somebody to cross into the soft light on the opposite side of the stairs, I noticed some flower carrying folks coming the other direction. Unfortunately, the flowers were mostly out of frame and then a face covered it, but I kind of liked both of these. One for the added color on the left side and one for the depth from the face in the foreground. I know I'm a bit of a pigeon traumatizer, but I'm sure we'll all agree that art is more important than the short-term comfort of flying diarrhea rats. I heard they came out with a new one. 
C2. Oh yeah, it's basically this, but smaller. Oh, they got the A7CR too. You seen that one? No. It's a 61 megapixel A7C basically. <laughs> it's fucking cool. I love old heads in the light. I know a major reason you guys come back to my channel is for the intellectual and highly intricate conversations Ty and I have in the street. That crone was staring at you, dude. She didn't look happy at all. Beat up an old lady. I, I, had, I got your back, too. I'll help you beat up that old water hag. I think I love about, you know, the photography community is everyone's willing to beat up an old hag for you. Yep, community for, for a reason, you know? Yeah, that's I think all Real support right there. Yeah. I think most community like most great communities over the years were all built upon coming together and beating up old ladies. Specifically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I that's know. the main thing. There's always byproducts that are Yeah, know, like good on it. Yeah, there's extra things like safety and numbers and stuff like that, but yeah. But that also that comes right back to safety and numbers again from old ladies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> This guy seemed deeply upset. <laughs> this guy looks like Jason Sudeikis in like 15 years back here. <laughs> the more I look at this, the more I think I might have actually accidentally photographed Jason Sudeikis. These next few shots are very yellow heavy, so if for some reason that color bothers you, feel free to write me a hateful comment below. After hunting down this old lady who probably could have beat me half to death if I didn't have Ty as my backup, I decided to call it a night. Thank you for watching. I'm planning some fun landscape stuff in the coming weeks while we hopefully still have some fall colors in the mountains, and hopefully I can find a bear to fight. So make sure to get subscribed. If you want to see another time I made an ass out of myself in the street, click right here. You'd think I'd learn. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.